Hi folks, this is Klaus at Top Hydraulics. We got something really cool today. We've already made another video like this, but we'll do it again for the closing sequence. What we have here is a an Infiniti G37 convertible, obviously. And um, while we're um, replacing the hydraulics in this top because the cylinders are starting to leak and the pump is going out on this one, um, the owner was generous enough to let us uh, use the car for some do-it-yourself videos which we're making videos of manual operation of the top and how to remove the cylinders and the pump from the car and uh, show you the um, items involved in the top operation and uh, we've rigged this up such that we can move the top without even um, having the battery connected on the car or the computer on on the car we've just um, applied electricity to meaning 12 volts uh, via some fancy switching over here to um, the pump motor and to the electric motors that move the various shelves and flipper in this car so as you know the top operation here is partially hydraulic partially electric that is the front locks where the top locks to the windshield that's an electric motor locking we also have an electric release of the trunk lid in the rear we have electric motors that um, turn these flippers at the end of the trunk lid that hide the hinges here and we have two motors that um, lift and rotate this parcel shelf but the operation still is the hydraulic pump and um, I'll pick one up here and come a little bit closer to the camera to uh, show you uh, so this is the hydraulic pump that has uh, 12 hoses connected to it with six cylinders those six cylinders move the trunk lid they move the top they lock the uh, top's frame and how it ha works is simply that the uh, uh, pump can turn clockwise or counterclockwise there's a couple solenoids and more valves inside this pump and miraculously if you turn the pump in a certain direction and have a certain combination of solenoids on one or both or none um, then that will make the top move the way you want it in of course in a sequence there are lots of micro switches in the system that tell the computer um, where the top is at so it will stop one sequence and then move on to the next part and just switch things around and we're uh, simulating that with our electric switches just moving the top and the electric motors in there we're having loads of fun so I want to share that with you and um, show you how this top moves so what we're going to do is raise the top obviously first the trunk lid needs to move back we've taken a little shortcut here that is um, the release of the trunk lid in the rear is normally with a little solenoid um, instead of wiring that up we just um, put a string at the end of the emergency release cord inside the trunk pulled on that and have already uh, unlatched the rear of the trunk lid just a tiny shortcut so now we want to uh, close the top first we uh, retract the uh, trunk lid we turn the motor in y direction turn on solenoid number two and this should raise the trunk lid and here it goes trunk lid raises or retracts put it that way um, next before we can raise the top we need to get the so shelf out of the way That's motor in there that will flip it up so we will now um, rotate the parcel shelf up there it goes and we also need to retract it a little bit uh, for uh, the roof to clear traveling over it then once the top is up about halfway we will retract it all the way um, so that we ultimately can uh, fold it flat and raise it when the top is up again so uh, we will lower this partial cell parcel shelf a little bit just to there is about right and next we will raise the roof um, not to forget one thing though well I'm getting ahead of myself I was going to say we can't forget to flip these flippers but the flippers actually if they were to retract now would be hitting the top so these flippers will be turned once the top is up all the way so 
Instead we go to X direction, solenoid number 2, and we raise the top. Now as the top is going up, you, if you own a G37, you might notice that this pump is really laboring right now. It needs to be uh, replaced. It is getting weak as having internal bypasses. And um, another way to tell is if we were to um, wait a little bit, this top would sag a lot faster than it's supposed to be. That's one of the signs that your pump is going bad. Um, fortunately, right now the top is in the highest position where there's hardly any pressure on the pump but once it uh, moves back too far it'll accelerate and go way faster than it should so i should not hold things up and instead uh, lower the parcel shelf all the way it is uh, currently half up we can now lower it go down all the way and raise the top all the way until it's closed Note that um, normally once the top is closed, the electric motor would be latching in the front. We're skipping this step right now. Um, we'll have a separate video that shows you how to manually um, open and close the uh, front latch. Also, we'll show you actually the whole top operation manually without a computer meaning you don't have to go to the dealer, you don't need the Infinity software computer to move and repair this top. It's, uh, once you have all this knowledge, you probably will not go, have to go to the dealer. You can just uh, diagnose it yourself and uh, replace the parts as needed. So it's awesome, isn't it? Anyway, I'm, I'm excited about it. So, parcel shelf is down, just double checking. Now we rotate the parcel shelf, uh, flip it backwards. It's rotating right now, down all the way. Next thing we do is what I talked about earlier, is rack the flippers. There we go. And last we close the trunk lid, for that we go in X rotation, solenoid one. This at the same time closes the trunk lid. Closing a trunk lid means the trunk lid cylinders retract. The main lift cylinders, uh, the big one here, have already extended all the way. Now, while the trunk lid is closing, we are retracting the locking cylinders that are next to the main cylinders. The locking cylinders lock the frame together here so that it's stable. And for that again, motor rotation X and whoopsie, X or clockwise and solenoid one on. Here closes the trunk lid. And the top is closed. Awesome, isn't it? Ta-da!